Hi guys, Joey here from Casa Chibo Italian. Today we're going to cook you our Casa Chibo Salt and Baca flash steak. So if you'd like to come through to the kitchen, we'll get started. Okay, so today guys we've got our veal steak. Our lovely butchers at Gateway. Uh, source our steak from New South Wales, from the northern rivers of New South Wales. Uh, and then it gets processed down in Casino. So we've got the veal steak. We've got our beautiful prosciutto. Uh, San Daniele prosciutto, some sage, and then our Italian greens. Okay, so first off guys, we've got our beautiful veal steaks. We're just going to take some nice hand-picked pieces of sage. We're going to layer them on top of the steak. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit of our Muddy River rock salt over the top. And then we're going to lay it in our prosciutto. Don't worry about covering the whole thing. And guys, if you don't like the thought of veal, or if you don't like veal itself, then a great substitute for this could be uh, beef rum, or even chicken. Let's go for the chicken salt and bucket. Okay, so now we just covered it with our go-between paper. We're just going to gently beat it with our, our meat mallet, just to infuse in the prosciutto and the sage right into that veal. So it will make the steak a little bit flatter, quicker to cut, hence the flash steak, and also incorporate all them flavors together. So as you can see, our meat, the prosciutto, the sage, it's all infused in together. So again, we're just gonna now take a little bit of olive oil, rub it into the meat, and a touch more salt, and then straight onto the char grill. If you're doing this at home, you can do this on your barbie. Straight onto the grill. A little bit of salt on the top. And it won't take too long. Whilst the steaks are cooking, we're just gonna get some uh, some kale and some cablanero or Tuscan cabbage. And we're just gonna tear it from the stalk. Just keeping it nice and rough. We don't want the stalk in there because it's a little bit too tough. We're gonna throw through this just a little bit of fresh oregano and some of the leftover sage. And this is going to be our Italian greens to go with the steak. Our well, steak's nearly done now. We're just going to flip them over. You can see that beautiful prosciutto and sage all cooked right through. Okay, so now into a hot pan. We're just going to put a little bit of olive oil and some butter. The olive oil stops the butter from burning because it's got a higher butter rate. We're going to grab our leaves and we're just going to give them a quick Toss with the butter. Now this is good to take away from the heat because we just want to wilt it. We don't want to we don't want to cook it down completely. You can just see the leaves are breaking down beautifully and nice and soft. So we'll just arrange some of them on the bottom of the plate and now sit our steak on the top and then some of that lovely butter and oil and now just to jazz it up a little bit. Some crispy sage leaves. We just deep fry them. You can do them in a pan with a little bit of oil. And then just some crispy prosciutto on the top just to give it a bit more crunch. Guys, there you have it. Salt and Barker flash steak, Casa Chibo style.